welcome to a new video of Genji Impact and I thought I gonna have a more time to actually edit this out I'm well behind but today <coughs> but today we are gonna do the land ra right event yeah he came back to me I thought this is gonna be her event or something because of the half one and of course we have to gain for Ming one skin and we get to choose a Pulsar I'm not sure actually I think I want to have uh, the constellation that gives Yan Fei the seal but who knows and we have these two so yeah we're gonna be busy for the next day actually where to go Oh, nice. Uh, okay, I'm not sure where exactly to start. Mind be purged, world be saved. You hear that? Okay, I'm not sure what to say. Which of this one is part one? I guess we're gonna go to this one first. Send this report to the Ministry of Civil Affairs and have them delegate each of the tasks on the list to the appropriate departments. Uh, by the way, I don't, I'm don't. i not sure when I'm gonna do Ning Wan Hena event. I legit have, I'm well behind. My drivers fill up with the recording of this game alone. Like the rest are just minimal. I really have to catch up with this game and try to free up my space. So while I may redo her hangover event, but I guess they're gonna be very late. So sorry about that, so let's continue. Also, be sure to tell them that though the lantern rite may be complicated, everything must be done properly. Lady Mingguang, it's us again! We meet again. No, of course not. You are my honored guests. And given the looks of you two, I presume that you're here to celebrate the Lantern, right? That's right! So what's on the agenda for the festival this year? As always, there will be a variety of activities taking place. Oh. But there is one of particular interest. The Ministry of Civil Affairs is planning a fireworks show this year. It should certainly be worth your time. Releasing Mingxiao Lanterns has always been at the heart of the Lantern Rite. But with all that has occurred in Liyue as of late, I think the people of the city need something to warm their hearts. A feeling of everyone coming together in solidarity. So... I believe that this year calls for a celebration of particular magnificence, something that would be closer to the hearts of every citizen. We are currently in the process of placing fireworks at various locations all throughout Liyue. We shall choose a timely moment during the festival to set off all the fireworks in unison, allowing the sparkling lights and excitement to resonate with the hearts of the people. I'm not be surprised you're gonna see Yan Fei. What was her name? Yo no, Yoimiya. Or Kali. Oh no, imagine both of them together. Fireworks? But we've already seen fireworks in other places before. <gasps> Is there something special about the fireworks in Liyue? Oh, come on, Paimon. Fireworks were originally developed alongside many other inventions here in Liyue. When our ancestors first created fireworks, they were originally known as firecrackers. Their bright flashes and loud sounds were often used for warding off beasts or as warning signals to other people. In those days, it was difficult for people to contact one another while out farming the land, so they would carry firecrackers with them to give signals when necessary. But people's lifestyles began to change after Leo Harbor was founded. They no longer had to travel out of town to tend the fields anymore. So the use of firecrackers for emergencies also began to dwindle. 
But through our local customs, the pioneering spirit of the firecrackers has been passed down to this very day. We made improvements to firecrackers and began setting them off during the lantern rite to commemorate the tenacious spirit of our ancestors. Also, Inazuma steal that recipe as well. Wow! Everything has so much history in Liyue! As I'm sure you already know, everything on this land accumulates history and value as time passes. That is the nature of Liyue. I've left Kuching in charge of the fireworks show. If you're interested, why don't we pay her a visit together? We need to add a few more locations for launching fireworks. The show has to be visible all across Liyue, not just in the city. They celebrate Lantern right in Qingsa Village too, you know. <laughs> but... Lady Kuching... What about our budget? The budget is exactly what it's meant to be. It's the necessary amount of funds to properly carry out a task. If you think the current budget will not suffice, then we'll simply have to apply for more funding from the Ministry of Civil Affairs and wait for their approval. Our aim is to organize a memorable Lantern Rite. The budget is there just to facilitate planning. We mustn't lose sight of our goal. Yes, Lady Kuching. I understand. Good. And please remember, safety first. <sighs> oh, it's Ningguang and the Traveler. Good to see you. Are you here for the Lantern Rite? Your timing couldn't be any better. The preparations are almost complete. Oh, um, I thought we have to help again. I just want to, you know, enjoy the festival and not work. I'm reviewing the positioning of the fireworks and double-checking the relevant facilities. It's all in a day's work. Forgive my directness, but if I'm not mistaken, you could just as easily leave these tasks to your subordinates. You've already been working around the clock these past few days. I am sure a break would not be amiss. Uh, no, no, it's fine. Really, I can handle it. Pungi, please redraft our plans, make a summary report, and send it to the Ministry of Civil Affairs. I'm going into town to check the progress of the fireworks setup. I'll return shortly. As for you, Traveler, you're our esteemed guest. Please take the opportunity to stay in Liyue Harbor and enjoy the festivities. Pungi, is everything clear? Please remember the tasks I've given you. Yes, Lady Kuching. Don't worry. Good. Ningguang, Traveler, goodbye for now. Whew! Paimon couldn't get a single word in just now. Uh, well, more like Paimon didn't dare open her mouth while they were talking, but still. Did you notice it too? Lady Kuching is a lot more outspoken than she used to be. And she seems a whole lot busier too. Wonder why? Ever since the Adept I left Liyue Harbor in the hands of mortals, we Qixing have taken up the responsibility of leading the people. We have taken charge of many vital tasks in various sectors, and we are responsible for planning and organizing all sorts of affairs. That said, being in charge of everything inevitably takes its toll. It's exhausting at times. Jiangzhou was responsible for planning the Lantern Rite in former years, but her father is getting quite old now, so she transferred to another department this year. In the end, the Lantern Rite planning was left to Kuching and myself. I am the head organizer, while Kuching is responsible for the highly anticipated fireworks show. Such an important event should be entrusted to the most qualified candidate. Kuching is disciplined, yet passionate about her work, so she's naturally the best fit for the job. She's definitely disciplined! No doubt about that! Absolutely. She is strict with both herself and others, to the point that she can even become overly involved at times. She's worked several days without a break now. I'm concerned about the effects it may have in the long run. Finding balance is an essential concept in Liyue culture. Speaking of Wells Ganyo, is he 
she do overworking too those are gonna collapse on a bit I've tried talking to her but you know how she is she uses her wit to talk circles around anyone traveler you are quite close to Kuchin why don't you try talking to her maybe she'd listen to someone as experienced as you Thank you, Traveler. I am glad you were able to help. Kuchin can be a tough nut to crack sometimes. I still have other business to attend to at the Jade Chamber. I'll leave Kuchin in your capable hands. Uh, are you sure you can really persuade Kuchin to take a break? Even Ningguang herself couldn't manage to convince her. Besides, before you can persuade someone, you have to at least understand how they feel at the moment. Looks for something. Kuching has been working non-stop without a break. Well, we have a uh, bait. What was called those things? Golden strings or something? Uh, duh! Come on, everyone knows that. Think harder. How does she feel deep, deep down inside? Uh, or maybe <gasps> we could ask a friend, you know, someone more knowledgeable about these things. I don't think Johnny knows that well, Kaching. She just knows her like any other. Huh? Zhang Li? Even the Paimon is surprised. Oh, there's no arguing that. Zhang Li! Then, hmm, Paimon thinks he's still a consultant at the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. Let's go see if he's there. And let's see if Hu Tao is there too. Okay, well, to... oh, hello, new item. Uh? Hello, how may I help you? We're looking for the Jiu Akan. Oops. Sorry, I mean Jiangli. Ah, yes. Well, I'm afraid he is currently out with the director. Out with the director? Oh, you mean for work? The director said that they were going for a walk. If you'd prefer, you could go look for them at third round knockout. I've heard the director often goes there to do, uh, promotion. I don't like the sound of that. Yum, yum, yum! Ooh, I am so full! Not another bite! Yes, he's a prankster. <laughs> and the best boy! Hats off to you, Xiangling! Serving the grilled fish with a dipping sauce is quite an innovative approach. The flavor is just to die for! <laughs> That's my signature dipping sauce! I knew it would taste great! Hmm. Tempered Jueyun chili powder mixed with garlic paste and chopped scallions, then seasoned with salt, vinegar, and soy sauce, before finally sizzling in hot oil. It's so good to hear him again. And I might say, this is kind of what I wish for this game, to actually have the character in there. Not just... Shield, uh, oh yeah, these two characters know this, so just by one voice line. But here, we actually see them interact. This recipe may seem a bit crude, but is entirely hinged on the precise balancing of flavors and seasonings by the chef. Everything must be balanced just right. It is the consummate mastery of this balance that turns a humble dish into an exquisite one. Oh, that's quite the compliment, don't you think? <laughs> I'm flattered. Thank you, Mr. Zhongli. And I thought I have a way with words. But you certainly take the prize, Mr. Zhongli. You are too kind, Director. Your eloquence is... <clears throat> infamous in Liu Harbor. Because he has to deal with her stick every day. Oh, what's that? Oh, would you like to order something, Guoba? Oh, please, by all means, it's my treat. I'll just open a tab under Xiangling. What? 
Hey, are you guys talking about tasty food again? Oh, it's the Traveler and Paimon. What brings you to this side of town? Hold on, let me take a wild guess. Hmm, yes. Oh, you must be here for the lantern, right? Uh, isn't that pretty obvious? <laughs> Anybody could have guessed that. Oh, yeah, come on. Can't you take a joke? You came at the perfect time. I was just letting everyone try my latest dish. The owner of Third Round Knockout says it's, it, well, a real knockout. Mr. Zhongli and Hu Tao seem to like it, too. But I think it never hurts to let more people do a taste test. How about it, you two? Would you like to have a taste? Huh. Don't have to ask Paimon twice! Or once, even! We gladly take that date, but we're here for Jiang Yu. We have to gather the alcohol. To business. We meet again, traveler. I trust your journey is going well. Well, it depends. I defeated the Electro Arcan and now she's at Chunde, stuck inside her house. And now we kind of stuck before what update gonna come out for Sumer. So, yeah. Splendid. Therein lies the value of a journey. So, come on. Why are you looking for our good consultant? Do enlighten us. And just in case you were wondering, we're on business too. We only tried Xiangling's dish since we just happened to be here. Business? What kind of business would the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor possibly have during a festival? Even during the most joyous of holidays, life still follows its natural course, does it not? Is that really so surprising? <laughs> but there isn't a need to be alarmed. It's just a nice day today, and I thought we could go for a walk while doing a little promotion for our business. Why is not to uh, open her mouth for the eyes? But uh -huh. she can be risky and somehow could in the same time like Oh, you could go ahead and chat away. Xiangling and I will go have some tea with the boss over there. Oh, Xiangli, please come get me when you're through here. Of course. I'll see you later, director. Now then, traveler, what brings you to see me today? Well, long story short, we now defeated the Electro Alcan, we defeated the Fatui, and we lost another new access. Well, what was it called? And what is this thing in his uh, finger? Is this a ring? Kinda tighter to be a ring. I'm gonna take a look at that on the model when I have the occasion. Oh yeah, and Kaching. I forget mm. about her. Yes. The Yu Hung is honest, intelligent, and most diligent. She is capable of shouldering responsibilities that few others could. But everything has a balance, and one's health must certainly weigh in. You're super knowledgeable. Paimon bets she would listen to someone like you. If I were still the mighty Rex Lapis, I might be able to help her see reason. But alas, I'm now nobody but an ordinary consultant. My words no longer carry the same weight as they once did. Besides, I am by no means close to the Yuhang. Taking the liberty to lecture her may just as easily produce the opposite of the desired effect. You're right. Uh, then what should we do? We could take a more subtle, indirect approach to the matter. Such as telling a story that resonates with her, containing your message conveyed within it. Such a story can be achieved by referencing topics from her daily life. The story could prove even more effective if you weave in something about someone close to her. Get it. 
I knew you'd understand what to do. <laughs> well done, traveler. Go collect some source materials for your story. Of course, I can always provide you with my advice, if needed. Of course. Once we have formulated the plot, you can tell the story to the Yuhang. Who? Oh yeah, Kaching. I think that's her family name. You are on amiable terms with the Yuhang, which makes you the natural candidate. Talk with people who know Kuching, right? Hmm. So who should we start with? Actually, imagine I try to tell her story with Box. I think we would. I hope that he's gonna get another chance to talk because oh man, I actually get tired of this travel mute traveler. I want him to be a character like any other. Greetings, oh, everyone. Uh, I hope I'm not intruding. Huh? Oh! Lady Kuching! <laughs> Mr. Zhongli, I didn't expect to see you here. Thank you for all your assistance during the Rite of Parting. You are most welcome, Yu Hung. It was the least I could do. Why? And what's with your strange expression? Oh, I see. My apologies. I appear to have interrupted your conversation with Mr. Zhongli. No, not at all. We just talk about you. Kuching, are you here looking for us? Yes. I was going to ask you to introduce me to the Adepti. I thought that it would be fitting to send them some festive gifts. On behalf of the Liyue Qixing. But... Didn't you meet them when we were fighting to defend Liyue Harbor together? And again? You could just as easily go and find them in Juyun Karst. Yes, but we only met briefly on that single occasion. The Adepti may have already forgotten about me. And I'm concerned it would be imprudent to show up so suddenly. You can take Which is why I thought it would be more appropriate to ask you to introduce me first. I just said that. Unfortunately, Ganyu is on leave at the moment, so I'm unable to get in touch with her. How convenient. And I think this is the kind of stuff that gonna kind of build up with time. Hector's convenient are not around until for one brief scene or something. I mean, I enjoy the game, but even I can see the cracks building up. Wait, do we have... Uh, Share her with us. And Xiao? Oh, wait, I don't have Xiao. I'm afraid I'll still require your assistance. So you even have to run around delivering gifts in person? <sighs> it sure doesn't seem easy to be a cheesing. And again, we're gonna be the mail mailman of this event, don't we? <sighs> Thank you, traveler. Let me go and prepare the gifts. I'm sorry to make you run errands with me during our big festival. I promise to make this quick and I'll be sure to get you back in time to enjoy the fireworks show. Huh? T together <clears throat> All right. I'll go to see the fireworks with you once I've finished my work. Uh, speaking of which, Mr. Zhongli, the fireworks show will be particularly exciting this year. Please, don't miss it. Ah, yes. Thank you for your kind reminder. I should be going now. Traveler, please come find me at the Jade Chamber once you're ready. And there she goes! 